Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. Um, I just released batch four of the donational indicators, and it has the smart rat zone. Now, remember, boys and girls and non-binary traders, and these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Trading is extremely risky. You can lose all of your money. If you need trading, investment, or financial advice, seek the advice of an accredited financial professional. And remember, no matter whose indicators or system you're using, always make sure you don't lose any more on any particular trade than you're willing to lose. That's your risk management. Okay, smart rat zone. Well, let me, uh, I've already got it loaded on the chart here. And let me just show you a few of the things about it here. Um, if you set the uh, shade the rat zone to true, then it shades the rat zone. <laughs> really. Now, notice the green rat zone is smaller than the red rat zone. Why is that? That's because the way this indicator works is you decide what percentage you want. And what is that percentage? You see, there's a range, high minus um, close and the low minus close. So right now, high minus close is all the way down to this line and close minus low is here. So what happens is, is you tell the indicator how many bars you want to test. So in this case, we are testing 250 bars starting one day ago don't really want to have today in because that would skew the the uh skew the zones so what that means is we looked at 250 bars of data and we took 20 percent. so 20 percent of 250 would be 50. so out of the we made close minus low 250 calculations one per day we took the lowest of the 50 the smallest range and so if you take that and you say okay out of those 50 which was the biggest so the biggest was the was the difference here between 94 and 82 well of course 949 and that decides so 20 percent of those values fell within this range and so for a high minus close, it would be the same. And right now, you can see here, we've got high minus close slash close minus low. So high minus close, 89% of those values fell above this line. But in this case, close minus low, only 9% fell below this area right here. So this is real time stats. And you can use this with other systems to and just have this one line here. In fact, a lot of times I'll put this on charts because this will tell me, um, hmm, if I like my rat zone to be 20%, I know I'm in the rat zone when this number is less than 20. And I know chances are price is going to want to crawl out of that area. And ditto here, if it was up here, I'd know, hey, price is in the red rat zone just by looking at these numbers. I don't even have to have the have them plot it. Now, there's some other uh, interesting things I did with this indicator uh, just because I could. You know, I'm a programmer by training, so I can do some, some things. Now, we said show rat lines false, but if you actually want to see what those 50 lines look like on the chart there you go and it's really hard to read <laughs> and i used a um uh what do you call it a gradient and that's why these colors but you can see they're all scrunched up here so it, it's it's just really hard to see them um but if you uh expand the chart and maybe if you come down to one you can see them all right here and the thing is it says how many lines i wanted to see the the lowest 20 lines here 
And so these were the lowest 20, not 20%, just lowest 20. Remember, there's 50 lines out of 250, but these are the lowest 20. And of course, if you wanted to, you could see all 50 lines. And there you have it. Now, once again, you can put that on your chart or not. I don't, I just did it because I could. Um, and it was an experiment to see, you know, what I liked. So we can turn those off. And then side markers true. And put the side markers over here. And sometimes like if I'm working on something, and I've got a trade open, I'll have it so all I can see is the side markers and I'll know where price is. And then if it gets anywhere near where I want it to be, then I can uh, take a look. And I also have yeah, alerts. Um, so when it gets near, it'll, it'll buzz me or something. So I know to start paying attention to the trade. Now, let's see, what else do we have here on the Smart Rad Zone Indicator? Uh, let's see, show gauge false. I don't even remember what the gauge does. <laughs> oh yeah, it puts out the um, values here. In this case, 20. Um, but you, see, you can, let's just change this to 100. So then 20 means actually 20 rather than um, 50. So you can see here, the 20 values, you get the, up to 19 when you only use the last 100 days. And for the um, green rat, it's here, it's at uh, 17. So you can see here how that moved. But uh, once again, I'll put it back to where it was because that's kind of how I like it. Uh, let's see, and we can go back to H1, and you can see here how price is starting to move up, getting out of that green rat zone, and we only have, we have less than an hour in the day, so we'll find out if, if price actually does move out of that rat zone. Um, what else do I have to show here? Show gauge, show comment. Um, oh, yes dump the arrays so i showed you how you could just show the values over here on the gauge well you can actually dump all of the arrays so remember i think there was 250 so here this is starting here this is 1 through 10 10 through 20 20 through 30 30 through 40 40 through 50 and so you see here 12.2 and 12.3 so right here at the 20 percent level th this is it so so right here this is a 20 so we take this value 12.3 we add it to 82.6 we get 92 or 94 9. so you can see here 20% at a time, price closed, or I'm sorry, the close minus low was this range, okay? And then all these others, you could see, close minus low was a lot higher. So 80% at a time. So you want statistics on your side. And why, why 20, 80, 20 rule, right? So that's how you can see it. So maybe you might go, hmm, maybe you only want, you want 10%. You, or maybe you want 25%. That's up to you. And that's why instead of having to run those frequency distributions, um, you, I let the uh, indicator do it for me. That's why I call it the smart rat. Rat got a little bit smarter. Not trying to be a Yale student, though. Now, I hope you guys know about the uh, 
the Yale student story. If not, you can look it up. <laughs> Just put rat and Yale student in Google and you'll find it. Okay, what else can I show you here? Um, I think really that's about it. Um, he showed Shade the Rat Zone, all lines, background, line, draw. You got period. You can do this for a week. You can do this for a month. I wouldn't do it for anything less than a day, but you can if you want. Oh, uh, one other thing. You might want to shade uh, your period. Uh, let's see, did I put that code in there? I can't remember. Let's see. Which one? D1. I don't remember. I think I was thinking of something. So I'll have to take a look at that. Shade my period. Not sure what I was thinking. I, I was probably code from another indicator. Uh, that's what I do. I uh, do a lot of copy and pasting instead of reinven reinventing um, the wheel. And oh, one other thing, um, traders, you see these colors? If you don't like to have a color, you can go color none. And like say maybe for low of the day and high of the day, you, you don't want to see them on your chart because it, it's interfering with uh, some other indicator. You do that and they go away, except you still get the, uh, the labels here. And the labels are right here. Show labels false. And then all you get is that one line, but it doesn't give you any information. So probably, you probably don't want to do that for everything. Um, I like to have the labels or the side markers so I can at a glance see what's going on. But a lot of people don't use the side markers. And you can see prices moving up. We're at the 18% level right now. And I'm trying to remember if there's anything else um, that I needed to show you guys about the uh, smart rat zone. Mm, nothing that I can see. So um, that's it. Uh, and I know a lot of people have a hard time with the rat. And I always tell you, usually I'll, I'll look at maybe say M15. Oh, I know one other thing about the uh, colors. If you go to properties here, grid, I have none. You can just put a color there. Then you see this little triangle up here at the top. Maybe you can't see it because it looks like, yeah, let's see. Maybe now you can see it. I was talking in the um, video wasn't recording. So I think I showed you if right here for the grid, if you change that, you grab this little triangle, you can pull it all the way over here and you can see that the chart. The reason I have it as far left as I can, because I use this space to uh, put all my other indicators, all the different gauges and things. But you can that that's how you can override that. And then, of course, um, I don't like to have that line there. And that's one of the reasons, because I, I, I plot my own. And so that's pretty much it for the rat. Um, and what I was going to say is, if you're getting chopped up using M15, go to H1. Trade with the H1 candle color. And if that doesn't work, then go all the way to H4. <laughs> um, and it'll... You won't get as many trades, but hopefully you won't have the losers that you're experiencing. So remember, fellow traders, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks.